Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Brunk here with Mrs. Brunk's Read Alouds. Today we're going to read a counting story. It's called One Big Pair of Underwear and it's written by Laura Gell and Tom Lichtenheld. Before we begin reading today, let's learn some signs we can use while we read the story. Our first sign we're going to learn is the sign for the number one. Whenever we sign the number one, we're going to hold up one finger and face it towards ourselves. One. Let's try it. One. One more time. One. Good job. Now the next word we're going to learn today is the word share. Whenever we sign the word share, we're going to close the fingers on both of our hands, place our hands on our side, put one hand on top of each other, and swing it from side to side. Share. Think of it as like you're giving something to someone else, and then some for you. Someone else, some for you. Let's try it again. Share. One more time. Share. Nice work. Now let's review. One. Share. Good job. One big pair of underwear. One big pair of underwear. Laura Gell wrote the words. Tom Lichtenheld made the pictures. Before we begin reading, what do you guys think this story is going to be about? That's a nice prediction. I see some bears on the cover and they're both in a pair of underwear. I wonder if this story is just going to be all about underwear. Let's find out. One big pair of underwear. Two brown bears who hate to share. Mine, Jimmy. One bear, where's the underwear? One bear cries, this isn't fair. Four bear. Two small sacks of salty snacks. Three young yaks with the black backpacks. Two yaks put snacks in their packs. No, I wonder, is that enough snacks for all the yaks? Let's find out. One mad yak yelps, where's my snack? That's not very fair, is it? Three fast scooters painted teal. Four ball bouncing silver seals. Three seals steal a set of wheels. Oh no, I think I know what's going to happen next. What do you guys think is going to happen next? Let's find out. One seal gets a real bad deal. Look at his face. He's so sad. Four large jars of candy bars. I see some goats. How many goats are in the cars? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Greedy goats in five red cars. Four goats gobble all the bars. Is that enough bars for all of the goats? No, it's not. One goat finds four empty jars. Poor goat. Pillows sit on five flat mats. Nap, 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 think. Let's count how many cats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Nap, 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 think six fat cats. Five fat cats nap on their mats. Is that enough mats to share with all the cats? No, you're right. One fat cat thinks rats, rats, rats. Six cookbooks in narrow nooks. Seven apron wearing cooks. Six cooks pull books out of nooks. Six cookbooks enough for seven apron wearing cooks? No, it's not. 
one cook gives them a grumpy look. Show me your grumpy looks. Yeah, maybe our eyebrows are down, our mouth might be tight, maybe our arms are folded, or even on our hips. Those are some very grumpy looks. Seven jet skis, shiny, blue. Eight cows craving something new. I'm bored, me too. Seven cows call, moo hoo hoo. Seven cows, wait a minute, how many cows did we have? Yeah, eight. So I wonder what that last cow is going to think. One hot cow stews moo hoo 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 hoo. Aw, poor guy. What do you think the other cows should do so that one cow isn't sad anymore? That would be a good idea. Eight long sticks and one slick puck. Nine excited skating ducks. Eight ducks play with sticks and puck. Wait, how many ducks are playing? Seven. Oh, eight. But how many sticks did we have? Yeah, nine. So how many ducks don't get a chance to play? Let's find out. One poor duck is out of luck. <sighs> poor duck. Nine trombones, all gold and grand. Ten baboons, all raise a hand. Who wants to learn how to play the trombone? They raise their hand because all ten of them want to learn how to play. Nine baboons march with the band. Okay, let's think. We have nine baboons. Sorry. We have nine trombones and ten baboons. Are all of the baboons going to get a chance to play the trombone? No, they're not. Let's find out how many baboons don't get to play. One baboon gets less than planned. He has a little triangle. Ding. Ten tall, twisty playground slides. Twenty pigs all want to ride. Oh, let's stop here. If we have 20 pigs, but only 10 slides, are all of the pigs gonna get a chance to go down the slides? No, they're not. Let's find out what the pigs do. Piggyback, the pigs decide. What? 10 pairs glide down side by side. Oh, look at that. Did all of the pigs have a chance to go down the slide? Yes, they did. They went down piggyback. So how many pigs is in a set? Two. Two pigs go down one slide. Good job. Bears can see it's fun to share. They try sharing underwear. Seals and yak soon follow suit. Sharing snack packs while they scoot. Cows, baboons, and cats and cooks share their boats, horns, mats, and books. Cowabunga! The silly cats. Goats and ducks share candy bars, hockey fun, and empty jars. What a creative way to use your empty jars. I wonder, is there something creative you can do with an empty jar? Hmm. Maybe we'll come back to that question. The friends all share and swap and trade, then line up in a long parade. How did they learn to count and share? Do you know? How did all of the animals learn how to count and share? from one big pair of underwear. And a one, and a two, and a three. The end. Look, and now they're using the underwear as a tent. What a clever use of underwear. This is
is such a great book to read because not only can you count and do some math on every page, but it also teaches us an important lesson about sharing. We write in the book that sometimes if we don't have enough candy to go around and we just eat it all for ourselves, it might make our friends feel bad. Do we want our friends to feel bad? No, we want everyone to feel happy. So what's one thing we can do to help everyone feel happy? Yes, we can share what we have. For example, we read that our goats in the story only had four jars of candy. And so they chose to eat each eat a jar of candy. What they should have done was share the candy equally among the five goats so everyone could be happy and have some candy. So that's something I want you to keep in mind. While you're at home with your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, brothers, sisters, just keep in mind to share. Share your toys, share your food, share the workload. For example, we talked about this a few books ago. Should your mom be the only one doing the dishes? No, you should share the work. Should your dad be the only one making your bed? No, you should share the work. If you practice sharing with the people in your house, then everyone will be happier. If you want to do some fun projects based on counting and sharing, you can go to my Instagram at Mrs. Brunx Read Alouds. Thank you so much for reading with me today. I'll see you again soon. Bye.